Hello, everybody. My name is Chris, and welcome back to more Telltale's The Walking Dead, season two. <laughs> oh man, last episode was insane. It's actually crazy. Like, seriously. So, not only, not only, not only did we lose Pete. It was really sad. It's the man, right? He was a good dude. But he got bit. He unfortunately turned. We had to leave him behind in order for us to live. So Clementine, we ran back to the house. Only for them to go back out looking for him. Looking for both of them. It was his whole thing. So we stayed behind. And Carlos asked us to watch out for Sarah, his daughter. So we did. And it was fine. We were having a nice time. Um, until somebody started poking around the house. Started coming in, talking like he knew everybody here, like he knew this place. And we tried to basically just kind of tell him as little information as possible. It was really uh, suspicious where he showed up, right? And he was looking for Sarah, specifically. He was asking about her, and then he found a picture that we had taken, Right. And it was this whole really tense moment of, like, he's looking for the group that was here. He's looking for our group. And he's looking for Sarah. And we don't know why. And so, eventually we get him to leave, right? However, however, when the group comes back, we tell them, hey, somebody came by. And they're like, what did he look like? What's going on? Like, you know, what? <laughs> And so we tell him, and apparently that's Carver. Carver is the leader of the other group of bandits that had attacked Clementine and Krista back at the beginning of this season. And we've heard Carver's name mentioned a number of times, but it seemed like Carver was part of their group. But what actually is the case is they were part of Carver's group and they left. They left Carver's group, Carver's camp, and everything to do their own thing, right? But now Carver's poking around. It's not great. So because of that, we had to leave. So we left, right? And we've made, we've, we've made our way to the ski lodge. Now, on our way up here, we had to deal with some walkers. We had to deal with another nice guy that unfortunately got shot because Nick is a uh, he's kind of losing it a little bit right now. He's he's kind of teetering back and forth since the loss of Pete and you know it is uh it's not it's not looking good it's not looking good for Nick. So we're trying to be nice to him, but also like he is becoming a liability. It's becoming very concerning. Um, but we made our way up to the ski lodge and. Lo and behold, who would be here but Kenny himself, somehow, some way, against all odds, the man survived. <laughs> he survived. He really did. And he looks like he's doing great after all the events in season one that were so bad, like with his son and his wife. And then just everything was just looking terrible. The whole boat situation not working out. It just, like, felt defeated. And then it seemed like he gave up his life to save Krista. I mean, he did save Krista. But he seemed to be trapped in that under that area with all the walkers. Somehow he got super lucky and was able to get out of there. And then just been surviving on his own. And now he's got a new, a new woman in his life, and a full beard, and he's, he's he's out here, he's out here surviving. And so far, it's like, it's really good to see him, and I never saw it coming. It's actually blew my mind that he is he is alive. That's it's it's so cool, right? And we had to sit down with him. We talked about you know, Lee saving us and everything, and just really catching up and we're about to have dinner It'd be nice some nice mush and all that um 
The, the one concerning thing that hasn't happened yet, but I'm I worry for, is before we came inside, we had climbed up to you know, like one of the ski lift. Um, we climbed up a ladder onto like a ledge, and we looked out and we saw the bridge that we had crossed on the last episode, and there were a bunch of flashlights kind of looking around in the trees. So they're looking for us. They're looking for us. Like, not just Clementine, but, like, the whole group. And there's there's going to be a point where they probably catch up to us, and I don't like that. But that's for later. That's for later to worry about. Right now, we're going to have a nice time. We're going to look around this place. Finally get a smile on our face. <laughs> and, you know, be able to relax. You know what I mean? Just be able to just finally have a nice time for the first time in a long time. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. 1998. Put it in here. Crazy. <laughs> wow. Technology. Was it clapping? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Just a little... Some um, um, ambiance. <laughs> Just the look. It's very funny, because everyone keeps comparing her to the... The Peaches girl. She's like, look, you got the same haircut. It's like, great. Thanks. Look at the dinner table. It reminds me of school. Yep, way back when. Yeah, because she... She had somewhat of a life before everything hit. You know? So it's like, she does remember what it was like before. <laughs> and a nice... That's a big Christmas tree. I haven't seen one of these since... What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, scoot my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage. Freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it That's means cool. that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. <laughs> That's why Sarah's got the big brain. Big brain of the family. Like, oh, that's cool. Serena seems like really nice so far. You know, it's like good for Kenny. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. You have when no I idea. Him, well, he's so different now. But you yeah. must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? Yeah. I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Right? Even if you don't celebrate, it's like... Decorations are still impressive. Right? But, so that's... So that's what it is. Kenny, Kenny was out there held up in a restaurant. I don't know if he's surrounded by walkers or just like just trying to survive out there. But she found him. It's actually incredible. <laughs> like quite quite literally, you know, in more ways than one. Saved his life. 
Look at this. Ooh. Like, I can't believe he said that's it's so good that Kenny's back. Finally, a familiar face. After all this time. Uh someone who we we know innately we, we can trust. <laughs> what a funny little guy. What a little goofy little goofy duck. Christmas duck. Oh, can we Yeah, let's go this way. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? Cause they're crazy. Can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? It's Clem. Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. Saw lights? Huh. Couldn't have been anyone. Someone got was following us. Genius. I saw lights. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Probably. Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did Mentioned you? Someone else. We talked about Kenny. Have Something's to be wrong. Careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, yep. I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, you take care of that. Oh. Yeah, and then Kenny Kenny did mention there was somebody else. Um which I'm sure we'll meet them briefly. Oh. Angel ornament, a star, or a ball ornament. Oh, we could pick our topper. What if we we could do the angel for Sarah? We'll give her you know, cheer her up. A little bit, probably, maybe, right? Some joy. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Matthew. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. What does he look like? When is he coming back? Where's Matthew? Called me Rita, so I call him Maddie now. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Boy. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before. Mm, I haven't well, noticed. He does I'm seem curious. different. He's the same old Kenny. He has... Good days and bad days, like everyone else. Uh. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, <laughs> isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. <laughs> Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Oh boy. So... Something's going on with Kenny. Yikes. Which could be... Could be nothing. It could be that he's, you know, different and he finally found something to care about again. And because he has someone to care about, it's now also fear of losing that thing. But Wish we had one of those for dinner. Right. Uh, so we can talk to you too. Make sure Rebecca's okay. Uh. Yeah, like he seems like the same old Kenny, but also like we only talked to him for like two minutes. But uh, we'll Are see. You okay. Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, 
How can anyone now? I think it's possible. I don't know. It's not going to be easy. Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. True. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's Had thinking. It. That's the spirit. Listen? That food smells good, Gross. Huh? Yes, can I? No thanks. It's okay. Can I? She's gonna be a runner. Uh. It's not good. It's not his. <sighs> Who's is it then? Why are you telling me? How do you know? Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and and then if Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. He'll kill you. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I'm saying he won't kill you. I don't know. But I, I guess say. nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? <laughs> I'm fine. You big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone. Yeah. Dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Oh boy. There are layers to all of this. But like, finally having hot food. It's great. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh, no. Oh shit. Oh, really? You're gonna do this? You're gonna do this to me? Really? Oh god. Don't do. Why? Why would you stick this choice on me? Damn it. Why can't we all sit at the same table? Why you gotta do this? Luke is great. You know? It's great, but it's like, oh, this group or that group. God damn it. Oh. I hate it. I hate it. Why? I honestly want to sit with Kenny because it's been so long. But I don't want Luke to think like, I don't want to sit. God damn it. Ah. Uh. Here you go, Clem. Don't, don't give me that look, Luke. Come on, man. So Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. Looks a good guy. I don't they trust him. I don't nice. know yet. Yeah, well, gators seem nice, too, till they bite your <laughs> damn arm off. Jeez. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. At this point, yeah. He does seem really good. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow, and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's oh. staying for good. God. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I'm tired of running. Of course you are. You don't have to run no <sighs> more, darling. God damn it. Really? See this whole thing? Oh. Okay, good. Let's all let's all talk. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out though, I tell you. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, Kenny. So, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? Oh, it's in the north. Chris and I were going there. Huh? What kind of place? Yeah, Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? 
Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal <laughs> is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. Well, that'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. Oh my god. It's fine, Nick. Can we not? Can we stop? Please staying. don't fight. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Yeah. Everybody be cool. We're all friends here. Pass Could me be. that can, duck. Duck? <gasps> Duck? Who's Duck? Oh, God. Kenny. Kenny. Oh, shit. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, God. I couldn't bring up who Duck actually was. Like, nah. I guess that kind of talks kind of points to what his struggle is right now he's kind of uh, still I'm sorry about that you know I used to be a teacher and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough it may take a little time but that's just how these things work everything will be fine I, I hope so listen relationships are like any machine I'll just say everything you will not be fine I'm leaving in the morning you get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Uh, Can you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. Oh, I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, mm. have you read him? Should well, I... we have plenty of time oh. to catch you up on your reading. <laughs> My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. Maybe, maybe not. It's never that easy. It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? Uh, I'm worried about Matthew. People are chasing us. You it's can nothing talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know it's... one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Amen, brother. Sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Miss? Holy shit. Oh my god. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. She can't hurt anyone. How much Check damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. She's from 400 days. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Interesting. Huh. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? None of your business. I'm 11. I... Uh -huh. I'm 11. I would have thought older than that.
Thought he was nice, though. Here you are, miss. Oh, wow. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Look at him. He's... Wow. That was Play really nice. inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Clementine. Don't freak out. I don't know if you should lead with that, but... Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. <gasps> no! No! So I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Uh, uh. I don't think Walter knows yet. So we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. Oh, shit. What if he finds out anyway? We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it. And you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, the oh. you, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay. Well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Bro. Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming uh, to tuck me in? <laughs> we gotta, we gotta <laughs> yeah. be. Yeah, something like Listen, that. Listen, dude. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. Mm-hmm. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. <sighs> you guys can talk to me. I know. I, what, you don't trust me now? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can't. Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta... I can't live with uh, that. Man. Either okay, way is I risky. You, don't say anything. Fuck. You tell. I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Uh, I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? God damn it. Oh, my God. Crap. This has gone. This is. Oh, no. Why? It's gone. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Why? 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 Why did this have to happen? Hey. Oh, God. Put the knife down. Are you okay, Walter? Are you okay? Oh, God. I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. No. Oh. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. It but was now... us. Fuck. Damn it. Fucking honesty. It was us. It was our fault. Jesus, I, um, uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. It, he thought it was in self-defense to protect us. I mean, is, uh, is Nick a good man? 
or is he just like everyone else? Uh, he he is he may just be one dumb. Of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves. He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He just makes really bad choices sometimes. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You, you need know. to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Oh, God. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. Some electricity from the whip. God, they, oh. Walt, what's going on? It's a bad fucking time, that's what it is. The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Nick, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? There's a lot, uh, there's a lot going on. Things a damn dinner bell. Oh, uh, Chris. Damn it. It's always something. What the hell was that? Damn it. Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No. It's too dangerous. Rest of you, get this thing shut down. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, you know what? I trusted Walt would be in control, and so far he is, which is great. Does anyone know how to do this? It still sucks. Great. Feel bad? I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Yeah, we got this. Later with the control panel, there's a key. Okay, maybe give us some light. Okay. Cool. Key and key slot. Oh, that was easy. Great. Didn't even have to unplug anything. Too late, right? Yeah. Everybody get back inside. Everybody get back inside. Oh, we don't God. have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. Uh-huh. Everybody go. Us. You can outrun them. <laughs> Oh, it's only making more noise. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. Okay. All right. This is too many. Even, even in the best case. This is such a bad idea. Shit. Uh, run. Run, fast. Nice. Run, go! Oh crap, he fell on the gun. Oh. 
god. Dodge. Wait. Gun. Good. Go, 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 go. Shit. <laughs> Man. That's a lot of kickback. Jeez. Crap. Knife. Hell yeah, that was, that was definitely a better idea. Nice. Grab the gun? No, okay. No. Oh, okay. He probably wanted to, and I couldn't blame him, but I'm glad he didn't. Clem, get inside! Go! What an ordeal. Clementine, are you okay? What the hell? An automatic weapon? What the fuck? Don't tell me those are carvers, guys. Shit. Oh, and Bonnie's with them. God damn it. Oh, such nut. Howdy, folks. Oh, God. We gave them food. Where's Rebecca? Carver. They just came back. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! Damn it! Sarah! Sarah? Oh. My. God. Inside. It's you. Trusted you. Keep moving. God damn it. Of course. <sighs> Look at this place. Uh huh. Joy? No, Joy's dead. It's it's over. It's over. There's no fun here anymore. Don't do anything dumb. Leave this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. Okay. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Uh huh. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Oh, God. Johnny, cover that window. This has gone in, like, the worst direction. Oh god, he's fucking so close. Great. I, I don't even know how we're gonna get out of this one. Like... This is bad. Now I'm thinking, because he's looking for Rebecca, is he the father? <gasps> oh, God. Listen, I'm only going to ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's going to be okay. Oh, oh Rebecca! Oh, Rebecca. God. Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I knew I know it. you're out there. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Dad, my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. 
You need a doctor. Get out of here. You no. won't kill him. Where's Loki and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If he starts shooting, and people are going to die on both sides. <laughs> oh, God. I can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she going to do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop. Don't hurt my dad, please. We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him. Somebody just shoot him. Oh. Go get help. He'll kill him. We have to give up. He'll kill him. Do it anyway. I'll find Luke you and Kenny. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. He's going to kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. The odds of looking for Luke and Kenny would be so Bill, stop! tricky. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. You all right? I hate all of this. Fuck you, Bill. You don't want to do this. Please, let these people go. Just shut up. Oh, the fucking fingers, man. Ugh. Can you reach my hands? Everything under control? I can't, they'll see. Just be quiet. Uh, I'll try. I'll try. But... Oh! <gasps> Got him. Don't move! Y'all fucked up now. I can't see him. Watch them. Oh. Are you kidding me? No. What the fuck? Walter. That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Ah! Or you can give up now. Your choice. Oh I my you god. Calvin! Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Kenny, stop! You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! Protect we'll do whatever Alvin. you want! Fuck! I love you, Beck. Bill, please! can do this all night. Is that what you want? What have I done? Oh, God. Damn it. Where's Luke? Fuck. Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. Fuck this guy, Going man. Home. As a family. No. All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. I hate this. What the fuck? Uh, I mean, Alvin didn't get shot, which is like fine, but damn it. Ah, uh, great. 
Oh, shit. Next time. Here we go. Wow, they really are walking us back to their camp. I don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. I don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well. Those who choose not to accept our love, surely wish that they had. The storm is out of way. Oh, shit. Oh, God, they're going to try to assimilate us into their... Ah, oh, God damn it. Shit. Ah. Oh. What the hell are we getting? What What is this becoming? Walter. Let's see. Okay. Took blame for Sarah's photo. You and 51% of players blamed someone else. Honestly. If, if I knew the way, the way it was going to be said, I would have definitely been like, I took the photo. It was more just like. I, I guess my decision was based on just trying to be like, hey, I was trying to, you know keep her i was trying to have we were trying to have fun so that she wasn't worried you know uh who'd you sit with that at dinner you and 64 percent players sat with kenny that's right only because they forced us to make that decision because <laughs> kenny is the man all right kenny's been with us since the beginning and it has nothing to do with nick or luke all right would have totally sat with luke just fine <laughs> Right. Told Walter the truth about Matthew. Less than 56% of players told Walter the truth. That's right. Because the truth will set you free. Maybe. I mean, it was a, it was a chance he was going to either find out and find out we hid it from them. And then Nick is genuinely not a bad guy. Like, I genuinely believe he's not a bad guy. He's just, like, really tense distraught like he had to kill his mom and then now Pete's dead and it's just like he's going through it and he's like a little skittish so it's just like obviously he the second he's shot on the bridge right like he felt bad about it he's like well I didn't shit you know so it's uh... I'm glad Walter forgave him but i feel bad that walter is dead let's see left to find kenny you and 56 percent of players stayed to help carlos i still feel like that was a good idea could we have found kenny i believe we could have yeah but i feel like carlos would not have made it like like genuinely he would be carver would be just <laughs> one by one going through people until uh until until he got what he wanted oh yeah and then this whole thing with him and rebecca oh god it's like such a thing it's such a thing man oh my god okay so thinking about it and so what we're gonna do I don't want to, but we're going to pick this up in the next episode. I wanted to go up a little bit longer, but considering that was the end of the chapter and the next one is going to start, um, and I don't want to cut it off kind of like in the middle of the chapter, especially because I don't know how long it'll be in the beginning until we get like a moment. So let's go over episode three in harm's way. Plus, it's also going to do the recap, so I want to make sure. I think picking this up in the next one, it's going to be a good idea. And then we're going to go as long as we can on the next one. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We are in a bad spot. It's not good. It's not great. This is a bad time. Not only is Rebecca, you know, feeling more symptoms of her situation, but also now Carver has 
shown up, which I was worried about, and everything. He literally showed up. And of course, Bonnie's here, but I still do feel like she's a genuinely good person. I think she's kind of just being forced in a specific way. It doesn't, you know, absolve her, but it's still like... Because you can tell, at least I feel like I can tell the way she's talking, like, she doesn't want to do this. She doesn't want to hold everybody up at gunpoint, especially because we did give her food. Or Walter specifically gave her food, and then Carver shot Walter. Just like, wow. Fucked up. <laughs> right? And then, uh, and then Kenny's back, and then Luke. Luke's not even here. Luke never came back. Oh, shit. Did... It? Yeah, he didn't. Because it was just Kenny that came in. Everybody was down, and then he just started walking us out, so... Luke is still out there. There's a chance. But then, wait, he's not even going to know where we are. Well, he would assume, right? He could have probably see the evidence, and... I was like, oh, we're all gone. Uh, great. And then, eventually, the drama between... Alvin and Rebecca will probably come up being like, wait a minute. That's not my child. What's going on? It's the whole thing. Drama. Let's go. Episode 3. Next time. So definitely, let me know what you guys think. Thank you again for watching. And we are still going strong on this season. And the future seasons. So, uh, for, for now, until... Until we finish Alien Isolation, which I'm trying to get done as well, um, The Walking Dead is going to be every other day. And then I hope to increase it to a daily thing. So, if you're wanting daily episodes, they will happen. They are, they are, they are planned and, and hoping, and I want to do it. It's just, you know, a very limited window of time for maintaining what we have so appreciate you guys staying strong don't worry <laughs> see you guys in the next video bye bye <laughs>